Hello. This is a basic introduction to polar coordinates in GeoGebra. Maybe you're studying polar coordinates in a pre-calculus or trigonometry class. They're really cool stuff and can make some really cool pictures. This is a simple example. I have a point P that's going to be moving around the coordinate axes. And P is defined by this little R value, sine of 2 theta. And the angle is theta. So polar coordinates are R theta. And this expression here, sine of 2 theta, you can fiddle with that and experiment with it and learn all kinds of new things. To achieve polar coordinates in GeoGebra, we use the semicolon. If you use a comma, it'll be x, y. If you use a semicolon, it's going to be r theta, radius and angle. So I have this slider here, and let's see this point move around the screen. Very interesting. So at um, this point right here, the angle is 61 degrees, 61 degrees here in the first quadrant, and it has a radius of 0.85. As theta is getting bigger, you'll notice that the radius is getting smaller. When I hit 90, I'm at a radius of zero. Now I have a radius that's negative. I'm here in the second quadrant, an angle of 125, but the radius is negative. So we get a very interesting shape here. I'm going to turn on the trace, and this will trace the points and trace out the curve for us. So let me get the trace turned on here. There we go. So here's some small angles. And here we come up to 90 degrees. The radius gets small. Then the radius turns negative. Now the radius is going to be positive with the angle in the third quadrant. And now when the angle is in the fourth quadrant, the radius is negative again, and we're back to zero, zero. So I will put the link to this document, this GeoGebra file in the description, and you can fiddle with this. Let's change the three, change this coefficient to a three. Let's clear the trace. And let's see what happens this time. This time we're getting, going to get three petals on the rows. Oh, wait a second. Actually, we're getting six petals on the rows, but we're getting two copies of each. I'm going to let you experiment with this more. Have a great day.